going into it, because you know why they won't believe us. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, 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 hey, you wild good for nothing's my donkey. Ah, come on, hit him. Look, look what you're doing. Go on, knock him down. Are you mad? So that's how you want it, eh? What are you doing? Here he is. He's the one with the black eye. <laughs> Come on, Nino. Hurry, or they'll catch him. Make way. Make way, you. What's going on here? Keep quiet. Laughter is forbidden. <laughs> well, you babble and stammer, but your punches speak clearly enough. <laughs> Another theft, is it? Since the time you stumbled into my life, I've been without peace and quiet. Theft, two apples. <laughs> two apples, huh? Mm -hmm. ah, you're both liars, too. Uh -huh. You see that? <laughs> quiet, you. I'll explain everything. There's you. nothing to explain here. It's quite clear. But what's that? Who could have put it there? What pure young innocence. Now go and return all of these things to their owners. But horses. Right now. Uh. <laughs> My fault, is it? Besides being a thief, you're also a liar. Gather up the apples and put all of them inside here. And do it quickly, understand? Quickly. You were in a hurry to rob, so you must also be in a hurry to take things back. And you, Manino, stop grumbling. And now, get going. <laughs> hey, you are my friends. <laughs> hey! You know how we punish thieves like you? We cut off their hands. And you're right, they're both thieves. Those two have robbed us all. One moment. My friends have returned everything, haven't they? Arrest that one, too. He's their cop. <clears throat> Peace and goodwill to you, my friends. We don't want trouble with you. But why are you asking for it? Like a game for horses. Horses, you say? <laughs> it's horses. Here's one for you, horses. Fantastic strength like that couldn't be anyone else but horses. Don't ever let yourself be disarmed. Never! 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 Forward to others. We'll see what you are able to do. Would you like me to tell the most secret thoughts that must dwell in your mind? Fierce as a mighty lion, with a bull's great strength, and even wilder and faster than a serpent. It's a pity that these serpents are born so short-sighted, though. He is. <laughs> <laughs> but he is watching you, isn't he? And you think that for a young girl like me, a mere smile could be sufficient. Well, it's not. It'll have to be sufficient. You are married to the king. You're hardly the one to remind me who the queen is. <laughs> You're getting very interested in athletics. My dear, I waited for you in vain. 
You know that I want you near me. Pardon her, my lord, but even you wouldn't have wanted to miss this show. Just look at our horses. As you see, his form is splendid. Come, dearest. Nobody could resist all that power. The Tanusi, in fact, couldn't take it. And no people that exist are able to contend with the mighty strength of horses, of our own hero. My lord, I've just seen a man who says that his name is Ursus. He was in the market outside the city walls. Go and tell him at once. Lord Ursus, a man of extraordinary strength in the company of two others, has beaten the soldiers assigned to the market area. He pretends that his name is Ursus, the same as yours. Rackus! Rackus! Take all the men that you need. There are three Tanusi spies at the market. I want to see their faces. Is this another theft? No, it's the same one, Ursus, but I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> why are you laughing? You want to stop your joking? My troubles are almost always because of you two. But why can't you get it through your heads? That honesty is the biggest asset of one's nature. And that going to bed with a clear conscience at night is the best reward that man can desire. Well, sure, only... You should desire to have everybody like you and to be loved. And to own nothing. To give and receive kindness. You, girl with the golden hair, would you give me a drink of water? Our city, the armies, our land, he saved every one of us. He's been amply repaid with honor and riches, but we don't want him master here. Ursus is not the conqueror, but the defender of Atra. He's the best friend we have. Ursus the loyal, the brave, the generous. So the voices which carried from afar spoke of him. But I saw Ursus cut off the hands of a prisoner of war. To me, he's a barbarian. Don't say that. Careful, my son. Ursus is a hero protected by the gods. You're trying to justify your terrible fear. You're being turned into the undignified slave of that tyrant. Dario! You're not permitted to speak like that to the king. The usual intruder between me and my father. A servant of the palace elevated to the throne. You dare to interfere. You who didn't so much as wait for the death of my mother before usurping her place. Dario! If it weren't for the fact that you're my only son. I'm as sorry as you are. But I swear I'll put an end to a disgraceful history and free Athra from this tyranny. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Alina. Oh, Ikos. Ikos, what is it? Oh, my dear. Come. Come and sit down. You mustn't get excited, Ikos. You have to stay calm. Calm down. Your son is young and stubborn. And you have need of rest. Much rest. You idiot! If I'd been you, I would have found them. And I'd have squeezed them like olives in a press! Horses! Are you frightening poor Rakis? I know that composure is not the virtue of the strong, but you're an authentic exception in everything. Pardon my interference, 
But it would be dangerous if in the city word got around that you've been taking seriously a man who's usurped your name. We have another pawn to play the game with. Prince Dario! An important motive prompted us to call you here, Prince Dario. Ursus has made the decision to abandon the worries and cares of government and to return to his own country. And so, all of the affairs of state will weigh upon your shoulders, Prince Dario. All right, dear Marco. What do you want? I? I nothing. It is your people that are awaiting great things from you. That you should defend them from the Tenusi, our enemies for centuries. Why? Do they still want their revenge? Now more than before. Spies have been seen here within our city. This is your chance of winning the confidence of the people. Very soon we'll inform you of the plan of action. You look uncertain. I will remain at your side if you like. <laughs> Control your instincts, great horses. Time is the teacher of wisdom. Our information cannot be altogether mistaken, Prince Dario. Those three spies will turn up here sooner or later. Two of them are rather small, they say, but agile in battle. The third is a giant with the strength of an ox. There they are. Oh. Hey, you! Put this chicken on my bill. My friends are a bit hungry. <laughs> Don't stutter like that. And please try this time not to have any fights. Let's eat and have fun. <laughs> Landlord, bring us something to drink. <laughs> you there. Are you strangers here? Mm -hmm. then please show me your permits, will you? And why should we, anyway? Who are you? How dare you? You're speaking to Dario, the son of our king. Present all your permits at once. Go on, hurry up. But we don't have permits. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, you'll follow us to the palace. Ursus will question you. Hmm? Uh, ah, that will be interesting. Peace and goodwill for all, my friends. We don't want trouble with you. But why are you looking for it? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me your name, then. My name is Ursus. What expression? Does it bother you? <laughs> On the contrary. It's a name that's most popular here. It's Ursus who commands this city. Ah, yes. Yes. It's he who commands the city. Drakis, I'll answer their questions. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'll have to arrest you. My, in this city, there's a problem of everyone arresting everyone else. Evidently, there are many thieves around here. We, however, are not criminals. But you are all spies for the Tanusi. They're our most hated enemies. Tanusi? Just who are these Tanusi? The cousins of the Watutsi, both kin to the Biribisi. <laughs> <laughs> you said your name is Ursus. You mean you've some doubts of it? I'll give you the chance to prove your name's real. Manino, tell me what that old aunt of yours did to tenderize the flesh of a donkey for eating. Quiet, I can tell you. She said that the actual secret was in battering the meat with her fists for a long time. Oh, oh. Go and fight, you coward! Get in there! Oh. For you, Manino! Watch out, Ursus! Catch 
Atlas, defend yourself! Ursus alive. They'll all catch a cold. Hurry, let's get out of here. No, my Close it quickly. They bolted the window shut. We've got to catch them. Hurry, we can get out through there. running that way. Come on. We'd better get going. <laughs> Come on, make it quick. Hurry. <laughs> what is it? A cart that's about to change orders in a moment. Come on. Cemetery. Lift up that cover. All right. How did he die? Have yellow fever. Get out. Get out. Take him a long way from here. Go on. Hey, 
Hey, you! Wait one moment. We had to end up with a flat-footed mule. It'll seem strange to you, but I've never seen anybody who's dead move. Many times victims of yellow fever even walk. And I think that it's you who move them. With your lies. Come on. Time to go, beautiful. Ah! Get on, quickly. Captain! Captain! Stop that cart! What happened to you? Who are you? You'll be sorry if you don't come back and identify yourself. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Prince Dario! You let those three get away. If one looks at the facts, one might be doubtful about your loyalty to us. Prince Dario, I'm sure it wasn't his intention to offend you. Your father orders you to be put in command of an expedition. The spies have to be found and arrested. You don't have anything against it, do you? You've seen them close up, and I'm sure you're able to recognize them. So don't return here without all three of them this time. We've placed our good faith in your abilities. Go quickly, my son, and let good fortune guide you. Our men and their horses are tired, Prince. Perhaps we should take a day's rest. Impossible. It's bad enough to stop in Tanusi territory at night. At daybreak, we move out. Hmm. Who's that? Keep your eyes open. Ha! Ha! Again, Dario. Ah, you know me. All the Tanusi know you, and they've sworn to kill you. Maybe they should have me captured, but until then, I've captured you. Ugh. You're as savage as your people. Well, I'll tame you. You won't succeed, not by using force. so heartily, young lady. For me, you're only one problem among the others. No more than that. That's right. But with time, the pretty little savage will calm down. And don't ever try to escape, understand? Why should I? One can never be sure who's the jailer and who's the prisoner. An intelligent answer. Oh! Permit me just one observation. 
The Atrezi have no sense at all. Scent, you ought to say. But we're not animals like the Tanusi. Who was it who drove us out of our pastures? Who forced us to go and live in the rocks? Who puts on our heads a tax amounting to more every year? It's not the people of Atra who want this. You're referring to Ursus, aren't you? It's very easy to hide behind him, attributing your faults to him. Anyway, Ursus acts on your behalf, and you do honor him. <laughs> Massacre everybody. No, Prince Dario. No, our men aren't savages like the Atreides. Demera! Get away from him, my sister. No! Oh, no, Samur. It's Dario, the son of Ikos. Dario. Well, it's time you were in my power. I'll return you to your father without your arms, the same way you returned our brother to us. Stop! Stop it! Won't you lay down your weapons? Return to camp! What are you doing? That water must last us for the whole journey. When will we be getting to the Tanusi? And besides, what'll happen then? They accused us of spying for the Tanusi? Well, then we might as well know these cousins of the Watutsi. Both kin to the Biribisi. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, you. I hope they're at least friendly to us. Surely they will be. Otherwise, they wouldn't be enemies of that liar who calls himself Ursus. <laughs> sure. Sure, Menino, I understand. You want to say that the prince isn't a liar like the others. And he's right. He's the only fair man that we've met in the city, and that's without saying that he assisted us. And since he permitted us to get away, Dario and that other horses can't have very much in common. <laughs> that's intelligent reasoning. You nearly frightened me. <laughs> Once again, you have trampled on every agreement and have come to bring war to our country. We had only meant to cross your territory. Our intentions were peaceful. They were peaceful, were they? You captured and held prisoner my sister, Damara. The men in your escort will pay dearly for this. Right now, it's your turn. Perhaps you will know how to accept death more nobly. How could you judge that? There's no need to hurry, for my friends are amused by slow tortures. And your king will be told by one of your soldiers of the extermination of your whole expedition. You, come here. You see that horse over there? If you succeed in reaching that horse without running, and without turning around, you'll have saved your life. And I promise you that no one will follow you. Except for this. One moment, some more. Aristo is wounded. I'm willing to take his place.
Take my life some more in exchange. The Tanusi keep their word and their promises. He may go. Please, take my place, Aristo. Tell the king we preserved and honor the name of Atra. You, don't think that you're a hero. You'll be fighting with me according to Tanusi law. And I'll avenge my brother, I swear it. Why did you scream to your brother so he wouldn't kill me? Die. <coughs> That's so I don't forget. And because you shouldn't forget that our people are old enemies. They won't stay that way long. Demera. Please control your impatience, sister dear. Daybreak's almost upon us. All of our people have to bear witness to his death. Yes, you're right, Samoa. All of our people have to see his death, to bear witness. Look there. Hold these. What is it? Are you hurt? I'm all right. It's the king's son. They're going to kill Daria. Where is he? At the camp of the Tanuzi. Over those hills where the rocks reach towards the sky. as a chalice for my vengeance. One moment. Stop right there. Listen, everyone. I advise you to remain where you are. Who are you to dare to give orders here? One who wants to prevent you from committing a great injustice. Because Prince Dario's a victim like you of the tyrant of Atra, the false Ursus. And because he is the real Ursus. And what if you're an imposter too, huh? <laughs> if you don't believe it, give me a test and I'll change your mind. Hmm. Very well. <laughs> Bring the big axes. You'll follow me outside the camp. We'll fight with these according to Tanusi law.
the real Ursus could have acted so generously. defeat, I suppose, Prince Dario. For this, I've been ordered by the king to ride here and welcome you home. I'd have preferred to have been killed, rather than to return here defeated. But you're still alive. You are the son of the king. The Tanusi made this gesture so I could propose a pact to you. I agreed for the welfare of our people. What pact? Explain, Prince Dario. Speak up. The proposal is that the conflict with our people and the Tanusi could resolve itself this time forever. Through our Ursus and one of their champions. You should win, and there's no question, Ursus, you're bound to. The Tanusi have pledged to emigrate across the mountains at once. But before they go, they've agreed to give us half of their livestock. The proposal seems a good one. And who would be this male daredevil who'd go to meet certain death against our Ursus? Do you suppose their chief Samur? No, a simple warrior. What's the warrior's name? What does a name matter, Ursus, when compared with your power. And if the Tanusi don't keep their half of the pact? The challenge will be held here. Damer and some more will assist us, and they'll arrive without escort. Silence! And what do they ask in case they should win? Their pasture lands. But they'll never have them because 
Only you, Ursus, are able to defeat yourself. <laughs> the lion and the eagle, noble creatures. Without a doubt, the lion has more strength and it will be yours, naturally. We'll give him the eagle. Look here. There's a small hidden cavity that's just big enough to hide this. It's placed inside the cavity. The file will break at the slightest blow. In case Ursus is your adversary, imagine the effect it will have on his face, or better still, on his eyesight. Make sure that you strike one blow right here. And in front of you, there will stand a blind man. Now, if you kept on fighting, you could easily kill Ursus. But you have heard of his divine origin and of the punishment that his gods would fling upon you, or anyone who should kill him. I personally believe that there's nothing to that legend. And if you would honestly like to know my opinion, I'm also doubtful that his gods exist. But one can't be sure. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> I don't believe that she's here to visit me. <laughs> Will you stop it? Our affair was all over before it began. You're the queen now. What else do you want? You must imagine that I dominate my sentiments the way you command your mercenaries. You're pretty and desirable. And beautiful. But you'd never be enough to make me forget the affairs of state. <laughs> I'll break that champion into a million little pieces like this! formidable adversary for Ursus. My congratulations. You have a beautiful horse there. <laughs> you seem like the real Ursus. Judges of the day have been officially named for the Tunusi Samur and for the Atrezi, the noble Teamaco. The competition between the champions has been set in two separate fights. The second will be a fight to the finish and can only end with the death of one of the contestants. A javelin will be thrown into the arena to signal the start of the first fight.
Now sound the signal for the second fight to begin. Slave to me forever. <laughs> I can't see. I can't see anything. Treachery! Treachery! You cowards! Aren't you happy about my victory? <laughs> oh, yes. But you knew I'd win all along. An easy prophecy you made, Prince Dario. For only the real Ursus is able to defeat himself.
your triumph has reached its summit. Sit down next to the victor. If you become involved, we'll help horses. <laughs> I'll have you alerted when it's time to join us. <laughs> I know you're not able to give me your understanding. But I haven't ever betrayed your father. And my only mistake was that, that I married your father without loving him. Because I loved another. Because even today I still feel it. That my heart is still prey to this impossible passion. There's only Ursus in my deepest thoughts. Ursus, did you say? Which horses? Your man is an imposter. He uses that name only by fraud and deceit. Come with me. Hey, you imposter. I've brought you a piece of bread and some water. I hope to gain by keeping you alive. Here's a welcome visitor. Come here. I won't hurt you. And you won't hurt me either. Are you hungry? No one, huh? To take care of you. No one ever bothered with you. I, too, know lots of these men. The minute you aren't useful anymore, they abandon you. And so I, like you, put my hope and trust in their goodness and generosity. And here's the thanks we both get. I'm blind and you're starving. You want something to eat? No, don't be afraid. Come back here every day and I'll divide the food that they give me with you. We'll keep each other company. And that way you can believe in man's generosity again. It's a pity I can't see you. And that you're unable to tell me what your name is. <laughs> I'll name you my friend. It's the most beautiful word in the whole world. You 
You were right, Dario. That's the real Ursus. We've got to save him. And I know the way. Come. Acreante. Acreante. We're smart to close the door. This way, no one will disturb us, Teo Dario, Marco. what are you doing here? Miserable worm. It's you who blinded Ursus. I? What are you saying? I did not. I know you did. And I also know there exists an ointment for curing him. You're mistaken. There's no remedy to restore his eyesight. I swear it. Be quick, you. For my time is short. Bring it here or else. Very well. Are you sure that this liquid will cure him? Acreonte! Is everything all right? Acreonte! <laughs> Acreonte! Answer me, Acreonte! Speak, go on. All is well! All is well here! Come on. I must be certain that this is effective. I can assure you, Prince Dario, but this is in strictest confidence for us alone. Ah, I would pay with my head if this were known. This liquid will restore his sight? Apply to the eyes of your friend and leave them bandaged for about two days. Ah! 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 My hand's ruined! Ha ha ha! Here's the ointment I was looking for. One's able to make these mistakes, no, Tiamako? Even the king makes mistakes, but he's my father. And before long, he'll learn. This is the most beautiful apartment in the whole palace. You'll enjoy living here in our city. And Orsa says you're to be treated like a queen. I wish you a good night's rest. Get out. Get out, all of you. Surprised? A modest tribute to a beautiful girl, which compared to your beauty is nothing. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to use force, but I prefer to have you come to me of your own will. Rakis. Rakis, I don't know what proof Dario has against us, but it's certain that he's got to the king with information. Why are you worried about it? The king's not able to give orders to our mercenary soldiers to arrest us? <laughs> we must go and warn Ursus. I have an idea, but we haven't much time to put it into action. We have almost no time, Rakis. Here it is. <laughs>
He's an imposter and a fake, who's fooled you with fraud and deceit. The way he usurped the name of Ursula. But he defeated him, and everyone saw it. There was only one who saw it. Some more. And he paid with his life. Oh, it's hatred that's turned you against Ursus. You're the only one to accuse or speak against him. If I accuse, it's not for my own sake, but to make you understand. Speak up. Tell me the truth. All right. Alina. Why are you here? How does this concern you? Because your son hasn't been lying to you. You've always kept quiet. But your eyes didn't know how to hide the passion you've been keeping for that imposter. Now it's all clear to me. Please, listen. Quiet! Don't Ico. lie to yourself, Alina. Don't say anything about your innocence. I know. The king has made lots of errors. I was wrong, my son. Father. Darling. Forgive me. That is your saber, Prince Dario. You have killed the king. <laughs> Menino, Dario's caught in a trap. We've got to act at once. Stop! Stop, you! with a round of inspection. You here? The others with me. Harry Menino, the soldiers are coming. <sighs> if they capture us, Ursus hasn't much chance. Somewhere around here, maybe on the other side. You stay here. The other's with me. deserves a medal. Here's the one who'll explain everything. Well, then explain how you got in here. <laughs> Watch out now. Stand still. And... We'll never get back to Orsus this way. Maybe you're right. There's no sign of those two here. Come on. Captain, what is it? Those two behind us have disappeared. What are you saying, idiot? You two were the last men. Ahmed's right. Two men were behind us and went that way. Hurry, let's go. Huh? 
Asur, the creating! Follow me, there! Stop! Aha! Aha! Asur, God the creating! <laughs> <laughs> Azor, you idiot! Azor is the greeting and wants the greeting! Our turn of guard duty is over. They'll be coming to relieve us soon. <laughs> Quiet, I'll explain. We've been attacked just now. There are 30 men. The underground cells are full of Tanusi soldiers. Follow us! <laughs> Ursus, we're here. <laughs> My old friends, come to me at last. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry! Hurry! Dario's in prison. They've accused them of having killed the king. It's not possible. We must help him get out. Poor Ursus, you can break them. It's nothing for you. <laughs> The soldiers are coming, Menino. Watch out on your left. Horses. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> Careful, lower your head. Where do you think you're going? You're trapped. Give the orders here. We aren't giving any orders, are we? <laughs> Come on, Ursus. Dario's here. Ursus, Alina has joined up with us. I've given her an ointment that will restore your sight. Help me out of here. Zeus, for the love of the gods, give me back the strength. Well done, Orsus. Asur! No other grating! The grating. Orsus, raise it. We'll hold them off for you. The grating's in front of you. He's 
in front of you. Watch out! <laughs> Move forward, horses. Watch out! Miserable coward. Pray to Zeus that I don't catch you. <laughs> He's above you now. Where are you? He got down. Where are you, coward? Get out of there! Get out of there! of you. Where are you? <coughs> He's to your left. <coughs> you dirty coward, leave him alone. He's got a torch, horses. Down. To the left. We're over here. Come, horses. I know a perfect way to escape from here. Bring your torch along. At the end of this tunnel, there's a river that will lead us to the sea. Hurry. Here's the river. It's not far to the sea now. I've been desperate, wondering if you would ever escape from prison. Here is the ointment. When Ursus can see again, Atra will then be free. I couldn't have found a better ally than you, Alina. Zeus, I thank you. Aristo, will you take my friends with you to your house? The king is waiting to be avenged, Alina. Very well, my prince. Let's go back. There's no possible way to do it. It's much too risky an adventure alone. I have to avenge my father. If they discover you, our whole plan is destined to fail. I'll return, rest assured. Teomaco said that you refused to marry me. But I... I want to hear it said with your own voice. I meant what I told him. Pity, though. A very young life depended on you. On me? On a prisoner of yours? I'm deeply sorry for him. Horrible tortures will be used before he dies. But uh, a noble prince has to be ready to face death courageously. Dario? Mm-hmm. Dario. You alone are able to save him. If you were my bride, Dario would live. Yes. He'd live the rest of his life in chains. Oh. 
And now you have to decide. You'd better be sure. Think of your people. The Atrezi and the Tanusi forever at peace. All right, I am to be your wife. I agree to marry you. And you won't be sorry. You'll reign over a large kingdom. My lord! The man whom they call Ursus has been set free. And Prince Dario has escaped. Quiet, you fool! of a woman has to be respected because it may become a strength. We must capture Prince Dario at all costs. And here is our bait. Will he recover? Without Ursus, how can we hope for a victory? Many young men like us are ready to fight for Dario. It's time for action or we'll end up being discovered. We must wait for Ursus. Yes, that's best. We'd better wait until Ursus is well. People of Atra, the noble princess of the Tanusi, Demara, has been found guilty of high treason and is condemned to the stake. The servants will be executed at daybreak tomorrow. This changes everything. We mustn't wait longer for Ursus. We must save her. Them to the stake. Dario will try to save her. We must go at once. Don't be afraid. Nobody will die. We will begin now. 
There's nothing to be worried about. You're the queen. I a queen. No, only a woman. Just like all the others in Atra. cleanse you of your guilt. Stop! Keep back! Move back! A blind man's not worth very much to you, but we want the reward anyway. Uh, uh. Get down. Killed like this by you. Is is a return to life again? Don't be afraid. It's all over now. Uh, uh. Let's get out of here. Its land is waiting up there. The people of the Tanusi, wanderers. 
They're desert wanderers. They're ready to advance on your mercenaries, not wanting to kill, not wanting to destroy, but merely wanting to take that which belongs to them. Even if it's in the service of justice, violence always remains violence. <laughs> 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 we owe everything to you. Ask for whatever you want. I want three of your horses. What? Have I asked for too much then? Oh, no. <laughs> Why do you want to leave, Ursus? Remain here. Oh, please, stay here. I would stay if I had found the joy in life that both of you have in your faces. But the face I've searched for exists only in one's dreams, I guess. Mount up, my friend. <laughs> Three vagabonds like we are. Our home is the world. <laughs> Manino, you've stolen something else. It'd be hard to explain it, but things are much different than whatever you're thinking. It isn't a theft, but an inheritance I'm completely entitled to. Poor old Teomarco left lots behind in the world, not having any heirs who were legitimate. I, the undersigned, nominated myself his lifelong usufructuary. Ah. Usufructuary? That's pretty difficult to say. <laughs> Manino, but you don't stammer anymore. But you never gave me the time to speak clearly. <laughs> 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 Farewell, my friends. Let's ride. Yahoo! Wake up! They're here! Ah! Ursus! Manino! Cabriolo! Like the 
particularly wild and funny characters who will captivate your imagination. The Three Avengers. Exciting, spectacular. Forbidden love, which demanded of a beautiful woman a terrible sacrifice. And another which was born amid the hate between two nations. You won't succeed, not by using force. Damara, a girl as savage as her people who could only be tamed by the love of her country's sworn enemy. A secret potion made by a diabolical alchemist who sold his soul to the tyrannical ruler of Atra. Avengers, directed by Gianfranco Parolini. The Three Avengers. 